I'm Carlos Mireles. I'm a professor of physics here. Um, I've been here uh, since 2005. We combine magnetic resonance and optical methods with our sight on applications in uh, nanotechnology and quantum information processing. Most recently, we've been able to encode information um, with, with subdiffraction resolution in charge in a, in a reversible um, manner. And that's, well, one very recent project that uh, keeps me uh, quite excited about. What we really bring to the table are these complementary expertise of our respective groups and then bring them together to now realize next generation of quantum emitters, for example, the single photon sources, which have very nice optical properties, but at the same time, very nice spin properties. And we're able to do that uh, seamlessly because we both understand our respective subjects um, and our groups have the expertise in that. And this having this shared lab space has been really beneficial in this context of developing these next generation quantum emitters. My research group works in the field of light matter, controlling light matter interaction at the nanoscale. The underlying system that we work with are called polaritons. These are half light, half matter quasi particles that can be formed when light is trapped between mirrors and there is a material system that is sitting inside our material excitation that couples or talks very closely with light and forms these hybrid quasi particles. The advantage is these particles have uh, properties of both, these quasi particles have properties of both light and matter, making them truly unique, and hence you can take the advantages of both. I, I often joke that you know, lightsabers cannot clank uh, because light should not talk to each other, but these polariton based lightsabers will clank because they have the matter in them, and so they can be used to um, create what I would call true lightsabers. It's been for me um, a dream come true, the fact that over the years uh, here we've been able to put together a, a, a laboratory that is, in my view, uh, very competitive uh, with uh, state-of-the-art laboratories anywhere in the country. And that we can actually use this um, infrastructure to give access uh, to state-of-the-art the state of the art research that goes associated with those instruments to groups of people that typically you know won't be exposed to uh, to to these environments it always comes as a satisfaction to show uh, my students to sort of expose them to something they didn't even know about that you know uh, uh, their professor is doing research that in principle you could do research and that then you know you could join it would be uh, that, that it's you know relatively easy to sort of transition and so suddenly you know you start you bring on the table a uh, an option that normally you wouldn't think about